Hey guys, um, my name is Gina, and this is my first nail tutorial. I've been interested in nails for a couple of months now, and I just do it on my own time. Nothing professional, obviously, as you will see, it's pretty sloppy. <laughs> um, today, I'm just trying to get a feel for things, so I, I kind of put up a variety. I'm gonna do these your wild side. So, here's a couple of animal things that you will be seeing and do today and show you. Um, here's the, the zebra, the tiger, turtle, and a little panda. <laughs> it's actually a panda. Um, I don't have anything on my thumb. I don't know if you read my about me, but I do say that my nails break very easily and just broke. Not too long ago, maybe like two days ago. So when I come to my thumbnail over here, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But um, you don't have to follow these patterns. Like you don't have to go and go do different ones. You can stick with zebra for all your nails, or tiger, or panda, or turtle, or so on. And um, so let's get started. Um, you also want to moisturize your cuticles. Your cuticles are basically the skin right here, up here, and around, and this gives your fingers a healthy look and it's not dry. I use Osen cuticle conditioner, and it's really nice. It keeps my, it keeps the skin around my fingernails very moisturized for quite a while. Okay, so let's really get started. So we're going to start off with a base coat, and I've already applied some to my nails, except for my first finger, so I'm going to do that now. It's just like regular nail polish, you just put it on next, since I'm letting this you know, dry. You want all your colors to dry completely before you move on, but since I already had these three done, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the tiger. Come on, do you want orange? Shake it. I'm gonna do all the background colors first. You don't have to use orange if you wanna do something funky with your colors. Go right ahead. So. Mine is a little sheer, but I don't think I want another layer. I don't want it to be too dark. Actually, I might add another layer. But I'm gonna let that dry a little bit first and then put on some green. And like I said, you don't have to follow the way I'm doing it with all these different patterns. You can go with a complete tiger pattern for all your nails, definitely. So the green is also a little sheer. I'll probably end up adding more to that. And then I'm gonna get the white on my panda. My pinky. Well, the way you can tell the quality of nail polish is that when you put it on and you still see like some streaks of where the hair of the brush went by and there's like kind of an indent, that's bad nail polish. Good nail polish will smooth itself over. I don't know if you can see, but this pinky nail streak on the side of it, but these really don't have a streak. They're pretty good. They're pretty even. The green one, not so much, because the green one's bad quality too, but the orange one, definitely. So now I'm gonna uh, do my second layer. I know I should um, keep these open, but I actually don't want to, because they'll, they'll dry out faster. And then I have to like reshape them. And that means I have to close them and then reshape them, so it's kind of a hassle. I'm gonna go back to my white. Oops. 
and I'm gonna put some on my first finger right now. And if you get any like around your nails, don't worry. Just take the toothpick and just wipe it off right after you apply it. It will just wipe right off. And you can definitely see that the white is pretty bad on my nail. See, it's so uneven. But, you know, you gotta work with what you have. <laughs> I'm going to put another coat of white on my pinky. And one more. My first finger. Okay. I'll figure out what to do with my thumb later. But anyway, um... Now, now to do the designs. You can see, you see all of these use black. Uh, so, I'm gonna use a lot of the black. I use this. It's just a nice little tray. It keeps everything inside. So, let's take some of the black. Oh, first, you want to set up your cotton ball, your cleaning tool for your, your tools. What I do is I kind of try to rip the cotton ball in half and open it up like that. Then when I put nail polish remover onto it, I put it mo mostly on this side so that when I place the brush part, this brush, when I place it in here with where the nail polish remover is, I fold this over where there is no nail polish remover. And that way it won't mess up my nails. I press down and pull out. And I do it several times until I feel like it's pretty clean. It also resets all the brushes to be together. And that gives you a good clean stripe. So I'm going to set this up right now. Just in case. So now I have all of this ready. And... I'm gonna start with my, my, my tire stripes. So we'll get some black on the here. I'm going to clean my brush off a little bit and get all of the hairs together. Now, here's what I do. I dip it in like this. And a lot of people make the mistake of making the stripes go down and up as well, so like they go both ways, but really zebra stripes only go from the top and down. So, we'll start from here and they make like a Y and you lift gently upwards so it comes to a nice tapered end they come from both sides so yes. join it or be free. Just some thinner ones. But here is my zebra. 